and today I'm going to be giving a crash course on derivatives. So, so let's talk about what a derivative is. A derivative is essentially a rate of change, a measure of rate of change. I'm looking at an arbitrary curve like this and I'm going to pick a point, yeah that'll do, and I want the tangent line. So the tangent line is just a line that barely raises a curve, so it's just just touching it right there. So what I'm looking for with this tangent line is I'm looking for the slope. So let's look at how we actually define this. So I have some sort of equation and I'm going to move ever so slightly but I'm gonna zoom this in just a little bit. I'm gonna move in the x direction and I'm gonna call this direction dx and then I'm gonna move see how far up I have to go to make sure that nudge actually corresponds to something on this line here and we call the resulting nudge dy and what we do is that this little nudges actually become infinitely small to, to uh, such a degree where you just cannot draw them on a graph and what you get is the tangent line so this tangent line that we express it is normally dy over dx now when we say dy over dx we're referring to the derivative of y with respect to x what do i mean by that well if i took the derivative with some other letter in there i'm not concerned about the letter a i'm concerned about the letter x so i'm not going to apply derivatives to this letter a i'm going to apply it to the letter x because that's what i put down on the bottom there so Another way to visualize this is if we had an input and an output as a number line. It's so like so. And I was here, and I'm going to move that way, and that's going to be our dx. And then I want to see how that changes dy. And then I want the ratio of those two. And that will give us our t tangent line. So, let's actually start using uh, the derivative laws. So I'm going to set up a simple equation y equals 2x and I want to take the derivative. So let's think about this. I have a line that goes through the origin there. Don't worry about that. It's not doesn't have to be the scale. And I want an expression that can give me the slope of a tangent line to this line. Well this line is just that. It's it's a line, it's straight, all the way, infinitely. So what do you think the tangent line's gonna be? Well, it's gonna have to be of a gradient two. So that is our answer. Our derivative with respect to x of our equation is just two for this case. So this can apply a little bit more generally and it is known as the product of a function rule. If I have something like uh, 2 lots of x squared plus x and I want to take the derivative of that, I can say dy over dx is equal to and then I can take the 2 out. So I can now say 2 over dx and then I put everything in here. So this only works is if we have the some sort of constant times by the rest of the function or term, something like that. So this 2 now becomes something like an A. So this is also secretly another rule. It's known as the power rule. So this power rule is when you have something to x to the n, and I want to take the derivative of this x to the power of n, so dy over dx equals d over dx of x to the n which equals the exponent times x to the power of the exponent minus 1. 
So what we have is what's known as the power rule. So if we were to use this on, let's say, x cubed, and I want to take the derivative with respect to x, that will be free, that's the exponent, times x to the power of the exponent minus 1, which is just 2. And this can apply to things like uh, square root of x. And I, if I want to take the derivative of this, I can say that, well, anything to a square root is just x to the power of a half. And if I want to take the derivative with respect to x of this, I can say, well, I'm going to times it by a half, and then I'm going to drop the exponent by 1. And now I can convert this into something that you may be a little bit more familiar with. It's 1 over 2 to root x. And this will can apply a little bit more generally. So there's the power rule. Uh, another really useful rule is the sum and difference rule, which are kind of the same thing. And it says if I have two terms added together with respect to x, like so, I can split this into d over dx of x squared plus d over dx of x and we can just split them like that and then we can take the derivative from there and this can simplify equations that you want to derive immensely especially when you have things that are a little bit more complicated than what I'm showing you here but this can also apply with not just a plus with a minus and this is known as the difference rule because we're taking a difference of something so we're so we just change that plus to a minus and we still have two equal expressions. So let's go into a little bit of application of things like this. So I have 1 over x equals y and I want to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Well that's going to be equal to the derivative with respect to x of 1 over x. What this is secretly trying to be is it this is a power rule. This is secretly, this 1 over x is really x to the minus 1. So if you recognize that that is x to the minus 1, you can solve using the power rule. Times the exponent with x, so then drop the times x, and then minus the exponent by 1. So we get x, negative x to the minus 2. And we can simplify that to negative 1 over x squared. And you can see where this can kind of get confusing because you can see this x here and think, oh, it's just an x, I can get rid of it. Okay, let's let's look at one final rule before I forget. And that is x plus 1. So, we can split this again like we normally could. Right, so what do you think this does this plus one this plus one does that affect the slope of the line no it doesn't this plus one shifts the line so it has no relation to the gradient at all so the derivative of this is just going to be zero and this can be applied more generally to see a constant and it will always equal zero. So the derivative with respect to x of a constant is always zero. So that covers the bare basics of derivatives. This is going to be a lot of accept and move on moving forward with this crash course. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on social media or comment in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video.